In this video, I want to quickly go over a few useful Deep Face Lab scripts that you may have overlooked so far, a few of which are vital to the deepfake training process. Probably the most important of these are the face set resize scripts. They allow you to change both the resolution and the face type of your aligned images. When the Deep Face Lab trainer is running, it has to resize the images to fit the model resolution which can result in unnecessary CPU usage and slower training. To remedy this, we can resize both the source and destination face sets. Run the files 4.2 data src util face set resize or 5.2 data dst util face set resize. For the new image size, you should enter the resolution of the model you are using, then press enter. You can change the face type, but hopefully you've chosen a model and face type that already match. You can go down to a smaller face type, but not up to a larger one. For instance, if your face type is WF, you can resize down to F, MF, or H, but cannot resize up to head. If your face type is smaller than your model, then you're going to need a different face set or model. Set the new face type, or just hit enter to use the same one. You'll be asked if you want to merge the folders. Entering yes will overwrite the original files with the new resized images. Entering no will keep the files in a separate folder, in which case you'll have to move them yourself. I'll choose yes and hit enter to overwrite the files and finish resizing. If you run the trainer now and compare to what you had before resizing the face set, you should notice the CPU usage has dramatically decreased. This is also true when pre-training a model, so you might even consider resizing the pre-trained face set. Packing the face sets can help speed up image loading time. Use the files 4.2 data src util face set pack and 5.2 data dst util face set pack to compress both sets of face set images into single files. You'll be asked if you want to delete the original files. I'll choose yes here to delete the original files since I can simply unpack this archive later. Now you'll find only the faceset.pack file in your aligned folder. The scripts 4.2 data src util faceset unpack and 5.2 data dst util faceset unpack will decompress the faceset archives and restore the individual images. You can also pack the images before exeg training, but you'll need to unpack them before you can edit or apply the mask. The Recover Original File Name scripts exist to assist with face set sorting. When you use the sorting utility, Deepface Lab will renumber the files according to the sort order. If you would like to go back to the original file names, use the scripts 4.2 data src util recover original file name and 5.2 data dst util recover original file name. Keep in mind that the original file name of the aligned images was taken from the original video frame or photo used during extraction. The rest of these utilities are only available for the source aligned images. You can enhance the source face set via an upscale process similar to the Topaz Gigapixel software. Run the file 4.2 data src util face set enhance and a duplicate set of enhanced images will be created in the aligned underscore enhanced folder. At the end, you'll be asked if you want to merge the enhanced images, which will overwrite the original files. This enhancer is not meant to restore images, rather it should be used with a clean face set that could benefit from minor upscaling. Here's a comparison of the original and enhanced images. The face set metadata scripts will allow you to edit your face set images with another application. Save the source face set metadata as a meta.dat file by running the script 4.2 data src util face set metadata save. This metadata includes face alignments, exeg labels, and applied masks. Now you can edit the images with your application of choice. You should limit your modifications to superficial things like AI upscaling and changing color levels. You can change the size of the images, but do not rotate, flip, crop, or otherwise change the placement of the face within the image canvas. Do not change the file names either. Save your changes, then restore the metadata to the images by running the script 4.2 data src util faceset metadata restore. 
If the edited image sizes are different than the original images, then they will automatically be resized back to the original resolution. I briefly mentioned add face landmarks to debug images in my face ed extraction tutorial, but it isn't used very often. This script will duplicate the entire source face set. You can use these images to find and remove bad alignments in your source face set. Make sure you delete all of the images with an underscore debug suffix before training. I know some of these scripts are a bit obscure, but your main takeaways from this video should be resizing and packing your face sets before training. If you found your way to the end of this video, chances are you're pretty deep into the deepfake process already, and I hope you'll check out the rest of my deepface lab tutorials along the way.